Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I have been in Iquitos in the Amazon in Peru for the past few days doing an Amazon tour and today I am hopefully going to be travelling to Colombia. Well, I'm going to start my journey to Colombia. See here's the thing, the Amazon River here connects Iquitos to both Brazil and Colombia and where you arrive in Colombia is a little town called Leticia. You first travel down the Amazon to a town called Santa Rosa and then you just do a little bit of a small ferry crossing across the river to the town of Leticia. You can get the fast boat there from Iquitos. It takes between 16 to 18 hours which departs, well, they say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I think they depart more days than that from doing a little bit of research in the town. Or you can get the slow boat, which is much cheaper, but it takes three days and two nights. All your food is included, and you're literally on this boat with all of the locals and all of the animals, and you buy your own hammock, and I just think it sounds like a really off the beaten track experience that I would like to challenge myself to. This morning I went to Puerto Ranza, which is where I heard the boats depart from, just to check that there would be a boat departing today because everyone tells you different things, honestly. And I heard it departs every day apart from Sunday. Today is Saturday, but someone in the hostel said to me, oh, but it's like a holiday weekend, so it's not departing today. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Anyway, I went to the port this morning and I asked them, he said, there is one definitely leaving today. It departs at 7 p.m., but you want to get to the boat earlier around 1 p.m., 3 p.m. in order to set up your hammock, find a good space on the boat and just kind of get ready for the experience. So I was like, okay. So I've just checked out of my hostel now. I've been staying in the Flying Dog in Iquitos, which I would recommend. Uh, it's cheap, it's very nice good location and I'm just heading, controversially, I'm heading to the Hilton Hotel to get some somewhat decent Wi-Fi before I leave. I'm gonna work for two hours and then I'm going to grab my bags, I'm gonna put them on the slow boat and then I will probably leave again to grab some supplies. But this vlog is gonna be following my journey, hopefully getting from Equitos in Peru to Leticia in Colombia. Let's go. Okay, I have arrived at Puerto Ranza with my bags. This kind man is uh, taking um, my bags for me down to the boat immediately. In Puerto Ranza, I'm here at um, 1.30 p.m. My plan is to kind of just like get settled if I can. Gracias. And buy a hammock and things like this. And then I will go get some snacks and water and other things that I may need for this journey. I don't see any other tourists here. Oh boy. <laughs> Es posible ir arriba? Gracias. I've heard that the top deck is the best because you don't get the sound from the engine as much. So let's go up. This is really exciting. my uh, fan with me. If you saw the last vlog, you'll see how that was made. Yes, this one. Hola, buenas tardes. I'm just gonna wait here. Um, the guy who brought my bag said that he's going to grab me a hammock and also the strings needed to hang it up. So I'm just gonna wait here for him. <laughs> as soon as I arrived on the tuk-tuk, like in the, not the office, but like the, the port, let's say. I had to pay two soles for this like embarkation ticket. I don't know if I'm gonna like need that. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case, but yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna get, that is how busy that this boat is probably gonna be. Crazy, we're gonna be packed in like sardines with the hammocks. And this is the top deck of the boat. There's a couple of hammocks here, but I'm guessing that's for crew. All right but this is where our captain is. Dun, da, da, da. 
that's the port that we just came from. I should probably double check that this boat definitely goes to Leticia and ask what time it's gonna leave and what time it's gonna arrive because when I arrived at the port this time, they didn't even ask me. They just took me to a boat. Or maybe they just know where I'm going because I'm a tourist and everyone goes to the same place. I don't know, I need to ask. Uh -huh. Oh, see, oh, 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 <laughs> I don't want to be too close to the toilets because I think it will smell. So this one is 30 or you can get a more expensive one because this one's quite thin. Um, but, but yeah, there's like thicker ones that are like 80. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all set up now on the hammock and I've just left like my big bag there with just like my clothes in and stuff. I've asked the family who are sitting there who are really sweet just to watch my bags while I'm gone. I was like, oh, are you gonna be here for the rest of the day? They said, yes. And I said, oh, please watch my bags. They said, okay. I'm putting my trust in the, in the Peruvian public. But I'm sure it will be fine. But I am bringing my most valuable bag with me, obviously never leaving sight of that even on this boat i plan on walking around with this backpack on because it's too valuable to risk anyway it's you know quarter to two this boat doesn't leave till seven i believe so i am going to do a bit of shopping for some snacks and for some water and just some other things maybe i can get a bit more work done also i need to eat right now i'm starving um, and i'll come back in a couple of hours Okay, I'm back on the boat now. My things are here. They're all safe. The family did a good job at looking after them. I knew they would. And the boat is a lot busier now. Still not super busy. It's 5.35. We are due to leave at seven o'clock. This is my first time lying in my hammock and I feel quite good about it. The guys at like the port, they all like recognize me because obviously I've been back and forth like a few times now and they're all like, hola, hola. Very excited to see me and I was very excited to see them also. You know, it's all a good time. I'm in good spirits right now. Hopefully I stay in good spirit. I'm the only tourist on this boat from what I can see, which is exciting. I'm definitely, do you know what? I'm gonna set myself a personal challenge for this journey. And that's to make some local friends and speak as much Spanish and practice as much as I can. I feel like this is gonna be a good place to do it. Okay, I'm here with an update. It's almost 10.30 p.m. I thought we had moved, like we moved once but then I looked, I felt like we just didn't move far enough. But what I think has happened is we've just gone to another port that was close by to Puerto Ranza. And I think that was to load up with more cargo below. And now we've just set up again. So that's, oh, it's 10.30 now. Three and a half hours after we were supposed to have departed. So there was me thinking that we were like really late and I was like, oh no, what happens if we don't leave tonight? But maybe it is okay. Maybe this is what's supposed to happen. I don't know, and I won't know this entire time. But there is a lot more people on the boat now. Um, 
else. I'll show you what I can. So all the hammocks are really closely compacted together. <laughs> but I, you know what? It's early enough in the journey where I'm still in a very good mood and I'm still finding all of this like a nice novelty and I'm enjoying myself. And we're also just uh, gives me a bit of entertainment is that when the boat moves the hammock starts swinging and so what it means is that occasionally you'll give a little bump to your I was gonna say like your hammock mate your hammock neighbor so that's quite fun you know all of this is still new to me I'm still enjoying it I just think it's quite funny um, but maybe I won't be saying the same in the morning but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my contacts out hopefully I can get my hands clean enough to do that um, so I'm going to show good night, unless something ridiculous happens that I want to document. Uh, so I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully I manage to sleep okay in the summer. Oh yeah, by the way, they have not fed us dinner. I thought we were going to get dinner tonight. So my dinner tonight has just been the crisps and the cookies that I bought from the supermarket. But it's been a really good, nice, nutritional dinner. Hello. Buenas. Buenas. Where are you? Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. 80 soles. 80 soles. Christy. 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 Gracias. 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 Gracias and the meals are included. We don't know how many meals yet. We don't know what the meals are going to be like, but 80 sellers. Pretty good deal. It's avena con leche y este es pan poco de plata. ¿Es incluido? No, no estamos vendiendo oh. desde la lancha. ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Sí? No, gracias. I thought that was the included breakfast. It's not. considering the circumstances, but not amazing either, but that is kind of to be expected. It's a bit unnerving when, when you start rocking and you're bumping into your hammock neighbors. Can we call them your dorm mates? Your hammock mates? Not sure. The people next to you in the hammocks anyway. I'm using the GoPro front lens as a mirror and it's not working very well because I just missed my eye. There we go. There's no mirrors on this boat. Well, not that I've seen. It's 8.55. I haven't seen where breakfast is happening, but I've just been sleeping and I'm gonna go for a little wonder after sticking in my contact lenses and whatnot. See if I can scope out what's happening on this boat because it's okay if I have missed breakfast, but I don't, definitely don't wanna miss lunch. It got quite cold at night, actually. Not initially but eventually, and I was very, very glad I had my sleeping bag liner. I also had my scarf on top of that as like a blanket. And obviously I'm wearing my fleece now as well. In terms of washing my hands, so they have sinks here, um, but the water comes straight from the Amazon. So I've washed my hands with like a combination of, of that and my anti-back spray, like for my hands. I'm just hoping I'm not putting any too, well, I'm sure I'm putting some, but not too much bacteria like in my eyes and on my face. We can only hope for the best in these circumstances. This is the first floor. Hola, buenas. Sounds like the party floor. They got music going on. Also busier than the top floor. That was a nice tour. <laughs> and I 
think that was it. Actually, no, I'm gonna go up to the top deck. Let's go do a little circle. Yeah, that was where like the little shop is if I wanna buy, I don't know, random little bits. Um, and I asked him what time lunch is because I don't wanna miss it. He said 12.30. Oh well, no one's here. Well, there's a couple of hammocks that were here yesterday. This is a great spot, really peaceful up here. These kids have followed me. They're wondering what I'm doing. I'm sure. They're like, what is this girl by herself doing? This it's weird tourist <laughs> talking to a camera, talking to herself. I get it, it's weird. Hola, Capitan. Hola, buenas. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> This is lunch. I panicked. I was watching a movie on Netflix. So when I finished watching the movie, I saw the other side of the boat, like finishing their meals and giving it back. And then I like ran downstairs because I thought I'd somehow managed to miss lunch. And I was like, oh, where's the lunch? And he was like, chill out. He just hasn't got to your side yet. So I was like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, so it's 12.39 and it looks like we've got like some beans, some potato and some rice and a little bit of chicken. They didn't ask if I was veggie or anything like that, but not that you would expect them to on a boat. Good thing, I'm not. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Some rice and beans, a small amount of chicken, and a little bit. Oh, that's a banana as opposed to the potato. So, ever so slightly different. Uh, it's oh six o'clock, and the sun has just gone over the horizon. I've been watching a couple of movies this afternoon. I was watching the Inbetweeners, um, well, like the Inbetweeners spin off. And I had this little girl like come and look over my shoulder at the movie and I was like, this is the most appropriate movie for a child to be watching. But alas, hopefully she didn't understand what was going on. I was still in a good mood, you know. Today's gone pretty quickly. I've watched a few movies, I've drunk a few, some beer, made a couple of friends. Very relaxing on this boat. Very slow life. I put on How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Spanish subtitles so we can both watch. <laughs> now three of us. Hello! <laughs> so little. What is it? What is this for? What is this for? It's a camera! My amigos están aquí! You! Guardiendo una cerveza. This is, you need to pour your beer so we can cheers. Okay, salud! Salud, I cheers. Lucis. Lucis. 
thing I mean, they haven't really seen me. Ah, uh, sorry. Cheers. They've come to join me in my hammock. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers in English. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Not bless you. <laughs> my nose won't stop running, it's a problem. So it's like 10.30 p.m. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. I've had a really nice day. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Netflix movies. I'm very glad that I downloaded them. It's really sweet watching them with the little girl and her brother as well. And also, I've made some friends. That's what I wanted from this. I wanted to make some friends, speak lots of Spanish, and just chat with people on the boat, find out about their lives, what they're doing. And I've done that. And I've had a really, really nice time. Um, <laughs> even if I have literally been lying in this hammock for so many hours today, that's okay. So I'm gonna put my sleeping bag liner back on, put my scarf over the top to keep me warm. The boat's just setting off again. It's been at this same port for quite a while now. Apparently we're not gonna be arriving at 7 a.m. tomorrow. That's a bit optimistic, but we should be arriving tomorrow morning or like midday. <laughs> Hopefully. So we'll see how we go in the morning. I think I'm gonna set my alarm for like 6 a.m. just to be in the know of what's going on in the morning. And then if I see that we're nowhere near our destination, I'll probably just go back to sleep in the hammock. That's the plan of action. Good night. Good morning, it's 7 a.m and I've just been woken up. They've, they've brought me breakfast this morning, which is nice. Just a black coffee and also uh, bread, just some dry bread, but that's the included breakfast that you may be able to see. It's so empty now. I think the majority of people got off at a, a place called Caballo Cocha. Caballo Cocha, I'll confirm because I do remember a bunch of people saying that that was where they were going. And I think they got off at like 2 a.m. if I remember correctly, in the middle of the night. I just kind of, well, I say I slept through it. I was obviously waking up when everyone around me was packing up, but it wasn't too bad. I think we were at Kabaya Koche for quite a few hours until like five or 6 a.m. and then we set off. So I do think that we still have a few more hours to go because I got told, oh, like normally you do arrive at like 7 a.m. but I reckon we've still got a few hours because it's 7 a.m. now. Really, really need a wee, but I'm a bit... A bit caught up in my hammock. I need to get out of my sleeping bag liner and everything like this. So, do you want to see the toilets here? Have I showed you? They're very exciting. Yeah. Here we are again. Just a few less people watching. Oh, I hate doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna get my hair cut in Cartagena because this, it feels so gross. Like, I don't think the washing of the hair has been very good in Peru, as in, I don't think the water's been very good for my hair. Or maybe I just chose a shit shampoo and conditioner, I'm not sure. Am I just missing myself completely? When we started this journey from Iquitos, we had Peru on both sides of the Amazon River, but now just in this last section, these last few hours, we actually have Peru on our right hand side and we have Colombia on our left hand side. So that's very exciting. So what I'm looking at over here is Colombia, but obviously we have to wait till our stop to get off and actually go to immigration and all the things like that, because technically, legally, I'm still in Peru. I'll get an exit stamp here in Santa Rosa and then an entry stamp in Leticia. Hopefully. I do have a business call in a few hours which I had arranged because I thought that we were going to arrive at 7am. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that call and unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to tell them either. <laughs> I'm just going to not show up and then I have to apologise a few hours later because I'm not going to have service. That was a faux pas. That was a real faux pas. I should have told them, hey, 
if you don't hear from me, it's because I'm on a boat on the Amazon River. I, I failed to tell them that because I just thought I would make it. Anyway. My hammock is nicely wrapped up in a little package now. Obviously, I don't need it going forward. I'm going into Colombia and I'm catching a flight tomorrow, so I definitely don't need this hammock. So I'm going to gift it to my friend, my new friend Oswaldo, who I've been chatting to pretty much the whole journey here. He's from Venezuela. He's heading back to Venezuela via Brazil and he's been sleeping on an air mattress here. He didn't have his own hammock, so I'm gonna give him mine. I gift you my hammock. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are getting off the boat, Santa Rosa. All right, they've stuck me on a little boat uh, with my bag. Um, that was the boat I was just on. Um, oh, gracias. Okay, I have all my bags with me. I don't know exactly where they're gonna take me. If they're taking me straight to Leticia and then I go to immigration or if they take me somewhere first. I don't know, but. It looks like I'm the only one on the boat going to Leticia. Like only one on the cargo boat. No one else has got off. You have to climb over the edge. <laughs> Goodbye cargo boat. It's been a, a nice three days. Nice bit slow. Now would be a good time to whack out the straps of the backpack. But I can't be bothered because I don't think I'm gonna have to carry it far. By the way, I've only had to whack out the straps of the backpack once on this trip. Every single other time it's been completely fine as like a suitcase formation and being wheeled. Just an update on the backpack there. I think I've been dropped in Colombia, but I'm assuming I'm gonna need to visit an immigration office. So that's what I need to find. Cajero, porque no tengo nada dinero colombiano. Sí, <laughs> Gracias. Solo tengo uh, per peruano soles. Ah, okay. <laughs> ¿En Inglaterra? Sí. ¿Pero hablas bien español? Uh, sí, gracias. <laughs> Entonces All vamos right. a un cajero, ¿verdad? Cajero, sí, y luego el centro de Leticia. Uh, hay un hostel llamado uh, Tambo Hostel. ¿Conoces? Cool. So, yeah, there's no immigration office. So, I'm gonna try and go to the airport, like, this afternoon. Check, like, if I can check into the hostel and then go to the airport to get, like, a, an entry stamp, exit stamp, because I think otherwise I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble when leaving Colombia. They're gonna be like, where's your exit stamp? And I'll be like, I don't know. Or where's your entry stamp? I need an exit stamp from Peru and an entry stamp into Colombia. Oh, where do I get this? Anyway, I'm in Colombia, everyone. Maybe illegally, but I'm in Colombia. I'm now on what feels like a bit of a goose chase around Leticia with my tuk-tuk driver to find a ATM that actually works. <laughs> because we've been to like five now and they all don't work. Let's try this. Alrighty. Oh, there's uh, air conditioning in here. Feels promising. All right, guys, we've had some success. I um, I managed to get cash out at that ATM. I got out 400. I'm actually not sure what the exchange rate is. And I had not made a reservation in a hostel because I didn't even know if I was going to make it today like with the boat, but we have. And so I came to a hostel, which I researched, which I thought looked quite nice. It's called Tambo Hostel. Just being given a room. Luckily they have space for me for a dorm bed. Unfortunately, I do have a top bunk, but it's fine. I'm here for one night. It was 45,000 Colombian pesos. We're now working in pesos. I don't know what the exchange rate is, but I assume it's probably on the pricier end of the hostels because this one just seemed really, really nice. Anyway, I need to get on a work call because I am late for that. Um, I didn't realize that we were gonna arrive this late. It's um, 
like 10 past 11 a.m. I arrived from the boat at like 10.30, 10.30 a.m. from the big boat. Um, yeah, anyway, gotta go. Okay, I've had my business call. I've also had a little bite to eat because I was starving. I still haven't showered. However, the guy or the woman at the hostel told me that I need to go back to Santa Rosa to get an exit stamp for Peru. And I wanna try and do this correctly because I'd really not like to get in trouble with, uh, with the law <laughs> and immigration officers, especially in this part of the world. So I'm back in a tuk-tuk and I am heading to the port to hopefully go to Santa Rosa Isla and hopefully get my exit. And then and then I need to try and get my entry stamp into Colombia. So I might go to the airport after this. Oh, what a day. Who in Santa Rosa porque llegué uh, de Peru hoy, pero no uh, tuve un stamp en mi pasaporte. Entonces necesito regresar a Santa Rosa, conseguir un stamp y... Pasar otra vez. Yeah. A paso la. Uh, sí, sí. Eh, le vale 10 mil y nos vamos ya. No mm -hmm. esperamos más. Uh, ok. So I'm back in Peru, <laughs> uh, in Santa Rosa, and I'm just getting in touch with a lovely female driver to uh, the immigration office. Supposed to be open right now, but apparently the woman's not here, so I guess we'll just wait until she is here. So we got into the immigration office eventually. I don't know why the woman was late, but anyway, uh, she's given me like a little, like she's filled out a little sheet and she said that the police have to go and stamp it. So I have to walk down this road to find the police who are then gonna stamp it and then I'm then gonna return to her. And then I guess she's gonna give me my stamp. Que confuso. Ah, I see the police, okay. That's the, the building is just there. That's fine, it's gonna be okay. Okay, success everybody. We have legally left Peru now. Happy days. So I'm now gonna head back to the port to head back to Leticia. And the woman in the immigration office here told me, yeah, I can get my stamp when I'm at the airport tomorrow. So hopefully that will be okay. Back in Colombia, <laughs> again. <laughs> so well last night. I got like nine and a half hours of sleep. It was glorious. Um, just having a coffee. They have free coffee at this hostel. And then I will be checking out very shortly because my flight is in like mm -hmm. two and a half hours, but the airport is literally like five minutes away in Tuk Tuk, which is really, really good. It's very local. And I'm hoping that I can sort out this passport situation to get an entry stamp into Colombia at the airport, but I still don't know. I'll let you know, but honestly, I'm so excited to leave the Amazon. These mosquitoes and sand flies, or whatever they are, bloody relentless. No matter how much spray I put on, I'm just itchy the whole time and I just feel like I'm batting them off. So it's going to be nice to fly somewhere else in Colombia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Al aeropuerto. Gracias. Okay, we're good. We got one. All right. <laughs> So that little tuk tuk to the airport cost me 10,000 Colombian pesos. I don't know if that was the correct price, but it wasn't too expensive in my opinion, so I think it's okay. And the ladies at check-in just told me that I can get my entry stamp if I walk in this direction at the airport. 
So I'm going to check into my flight here. I have to check in my bag because I couldn't find the option to, you know, like having like a cabin bag and a personal item. I couldn't find that option on Latam, which means that I have to check in this bag. Bit weird. Anyway, I'm checking in the bag and then I'll go see if I can get my entry stamp. Okay, success. They literally have that uh, immigration station, immigration station uh, in the airport. So I just went in, he's given me my entry stamp. I'm officially legally in Colombia. Happy days, like 24 hours later, mm -hmm. but that's all good. I don't know what he just said to me. So I am going, I've checked in for my flight. So I'm gonna go through security now and get on a flight to Cartagena. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. The next video is going to be in Cartagena and I don't think I've actually ever made a vlog in Cartagena although I have been there before so I will definitely be making a vlog there. I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Jess. I'm super super excited uh, so I will see you guys uh, in the next video in Cartagena. Bye bye!